Hi everyone, it's Jessica here and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the health insurance in Switzerland. So this video is for you if you're looking to move to Switzerland and have no idea about how the, th the health system works here or if you have heard about it but you're a little bit confused about how it really works uh, or just if you're curious about how other you know health systems uh, work in other countries but you're not really looking to move here that's also for you so stick with me because i'm going to be laying out all the different types of um insurance types that you have to choose from and also the cost but before we get into that make sure you subscribe to my channel because i have a lot of interesting content relating to switzerland and i also do videos on career and also workwear style and sometimes I upload vlogs of my lifestyle here where I take you guys along with us uh, on our day trips or just random ordinary things like these days <laughs> where we cannot travel. Anyways, I hope you enjoy and let's get started. Okay, the first thing that I have to say is that this insurance is mandatory. You have to have it and you need to choose one provider within the first three months since the moment you register in the country. What does it mean? When you get to Switzerland and uh, you register yourself at the local um, district, whatever you're going to leave, um, you have uh, three months from that moment onwards to choose an insurance provider. Okay, so let's say that you arrive to Switzerland in March 1st and you register yourself in the local area where you're going to leave, and then you choose a, an insurance provider in April or May. They will charge you retrospectively from the moment you register, which in this case uh, is the 1st of March. That's how it works. If you exceed the three months mark, you will get reminders. They send you letters to your home uh, reminding you to choose a provider. And if you don't do it, they will choose one for you. That's usually how it works. Um, and if you do it later than that time frame, they might um, charge you penalties. And it doesn't mean that you have to pay the whole amount altogether. You are even allowed to pay like um, in a fraction system. Like you say, okay, if the total amount reaches, let's say 800, you would be allowed to divide that in different small installments and pay them monthly together with your monthly premium, the monthly fee that you would normally pay. Now, something that I want to mention is that the accident insurance is usually provided by your employer if you work more than eight hours per week. So that's included there and you have you don't have to do anything for it. However, if you don't work those hours, you can add it to your health insurance. Okay, so I'm gonna start saying that the basic insurance in Switzerland is the same across all different providers. So it doesn't matter which one you choose, they will all offer the same coverage. And uh, the difference will be in the type of insurance you select, which I'm going to describe now in a second. Um, but you should know that you have the basic and then you can also have the um, premium on top. And the premium one uh, offers you things like extra money every month that allows you to pay for massages, alternative medicine, or even your gym membership per year it has some sort of money allocated to, to that. But I'm gonna focus on the standard one and, and walk you through all the different types. So the first one would be the standard one, and this is usually the most expensive one. And the difference from this one to the other ones that I'm about to mention is um, that it allows you to choose any doctor you want. You can basically go to any doctor you want. The other ones that I'm gonna mention next they have like each company has an allocated list of doctors they work with anyways to be honest these lists are usually super large like you have so such a huge selection of doctors to choose from that's not a problem it's not going to be limiting now the other option is um hmo which is a medical center and the next one is a family doctor so basically whenever you're not feeling so well you would go to your family doctor and then he would walk you through the steps of whatever you have to do in case you have to go see a specialist, he will send you there, or if not, he will just, you know, take care of you in that consultation. And the last option is like telemed, which is usually um, a doctor that if you're not feeling so well, you would call 
and they will try to tr treat you, not treat you, but like guess your symptoms and give you a, a diagnostic via the phone based on several questions that they would ask you. And um, if you need some sort of medicine, they would um, write you a prescription and send it to your local pharmacy. And then you get a text message whenever the, the med medicine is already available at the pharmacy for you. And they send the fax to the pharmacy so that it is all like everyone is aligned. And they tell you once they have received that fax so you can go pick up your medicine. So that's how it works. And uh, this is usually like the most affordable one. That's in terms of all the different types. You have the standard, HMO, which are medical centers, family doctor, and telemed. Those four ones to choose from. Now, let's talk about cost. How much does it cost, the health insurance in Switzerland? First of all, you need to consider four different blocks in, in order to have an, an, an overview of the total cost. The first thing is the monthly cost. This is what you're going to be paying out every month for your health insurance. The second one is the franchise or franchise. Not sure how it is pronounced in English, but it means that you can choose whenever you select your contract an amount ranging from 300 up until 2,500. That's the, the top, I think the total. And this is the amount that you will cover in, in medical cost through the year. It means if you go to the doctor, you will pay for that uh, visit. And if you get any treatment done, any surgery, whatever it is you need to get done, any medical cost you would cover up until the franchise amount that you select, the deductible amount. So if you say 2,500 as an example, it means that every time you go to the doctor or get anything done, you will need to pay for that amount until you reach 2,500. And once you reach that amount, the co-payment starts. And this is the third block that you need to consider. Co-payments means that once you reach your total deductible amount, the franchise, then you need to pay 10% of every medical cost that you keep having during the same year up until 700 francs. And this is a standard. The 700 francs is a standard across all different insurance providers. So um, that's, that's how it works. That's like all the different costs. So in this case, which one should you choose? Which deductible? That's up to your personal circumstances and also preference. Uh, obviously, the higher the deductible amount you choose, the less money you will be paying every month. Um, if you're a person that has high medical costs throughout the whole year, it would be recommended for you to choose a lower deductible amount so that you have the insurance company covering most of those costs for you. And uh, by then, the, the monthly cost will be higher. So that's obviously something to consider. And uh, what I advise you to do is the best way to have an idea of how much it would be every month for you is to go uh, to the website comparis.ch. I will leave the, the link in the description down below. And this is an amazing website. I, I honestly use it myself. It's not a sponsor or anything, but I really liked it. It gives you a very good overview of how much you would be paying based on your age and everything where you live. It, it differs. The prices change depending on where you live. So you can like fill out the form and it will tell you uh, all the list of providers and the price that you would pay in monthly. Now you can select it right there and then, but my advice is that you just use that as a reference to give you an overview of how much you could be paying. But when it comes to choosing, I would use um, the services from the insurances themselves just approach any of them, whichever you want, especially if you are new to Switzerland. It's so important because they have uh, consultants that or customer service um, members. I don't know exactly what their role are, but they really help you understand the system, how it works and all the different costs involved, and especially if you have um, circumstances that, are, uh, you know, where you need to have high medical costs per year you definitely need to use this service because they will look at your case 
uh, individually and um, advise you on which one is going to be the best for you. Obviously, usually these consultants are going to talk to you about their own um, insurance company, but you can still do that with each single one of them if that's necessary or if you see that in the first consultation you really got all your questions cleared out and you really you already know which one you want to go for then that's it so definitely make use of that it was very useful to me and they even come to your home you don't even have to go anywhere it doesn't have to be on the phone they come to your place and and do run the whole numbers for you it's really really useful now, something that I really wanted to talk to you guys about is the invoices. What happens when you actually go to the doctor and then uh, how do you pay there? This is something that um, I heard many people talking about this before because I never experienced going to the doctor myself and it's definitely interesting. Now that I have my own daughter and I had to go to the doctor with her a couple of times already, then I have experienced it and I can tell you better. So basically when you go to the doctor, you have your own medical card, like your medical insurance card. And um, when you arrive there, you just give them your card and they don't need any, inf any further information from you. And they use this to charge you basically. It's not like the, um, that you have to pay for the visit. You go there and you go back home and you don't have to pay for anything at that point in time. So after you get home, it can be that in a couple of weeks in a, or in a couple of months even, which is very standard here, that months later, when you even forgot that you went to the doctor, you get an invoice. <laughs> and um, in the invoice is usually stated very, like the breakdown is really transparent. And this is something that I appreciate. You can see exactly what you're paying for to the cent, like it's really to the wrapping in this case, it's really transparent. And I, I love that. And some doctors, uh, charge you by the minute. For example, when I have gone there with my doc with my daughter, uh, that wasn't the case because um, those were usually like standard visits, like checkups, depending on her age, she would have to get a vaccine or not. So they were like normal checkups and they don't charge you by the minute. But if I were good, if I were to go, I would be charged by the minute. That's how it works here. Uh, that's basically it. I hope you found this useful and that I could explain myself clearly. If not, let me know uh, your questions down below and I will try to help you clarify them. And uh, also, if you have any other questions about Switzerland and things that you don't know how they work here and you would like some sort of insight, let me know in the comments. I would be happy to keep making more videos on them. And there are more that are coming soon. So please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on them. And like I said, I also do videos on career topics and also fashion and lifestyle in Switzerland as an expert. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.